Hello everyone, welcome to our OJ YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about SIM checker variability. So what is well new variability about SIM checker? So let's be talk about in these topics. There is some little bit uh, things about related this SIM checker because basically we are saying everywhere this topic here. So let's begin with this one. So today I'm going to tell you that in some month earlier it is the critical aspects weakness a wide range of sim cards so actually what happened is a sort of license company that uh, activates been exploiting the wide of remotely comprising target mobile phones just by sending a specifically craft sms to their phone number if you can recall the sim checker when rebelgy resides in a dynamic sim toolkit called the s at the rate t browser which comes installed on a variety of sim card include eSIM provides by a mobile operator in at least 30 countries now it's done on the s at the rate t browser is not the only dynamic sim toolkit that contain the sim checker issue which can be exploited remotely from any part of the world without any authorization regardless of which handsets or mobile operating system victim are users wiv sim toolkit also leads to the sim checker attack so here one thing is more following their sim checker revelations like a toss and researcher at chino security lab reached out to the hacker news earlier this week and reflect that another dynamic sim toolkit called wireless internet browser can also be exploited in the same way exposing another set of hundreds of millions of mobile phones using the remote hackers like toss told that the hacker news that they discovered this when rebelgy back in 2015 but decide not to disclose this it's publicly until now because its process to pass such as flow in these complex and most importantly can be abused by path guys to control phone running when rebels is sim remotely besides this like toss also claimed that the independently discovered as at the red t browser as well as and also provide a video demonstration of the checkers vulnerability with more detail that have not yet been published by the adaptive mobile security research who instantly disclosed the issue earlier this month so one thing is more here WIW Toolkit is created and maintained by the Smart Trust, one of the leading companies that offers SIM toolkit based browsing solution to more than 200 mobile operators worldwide. And according to the some press release, the list including ADT, Kylro, Atlas, Tap, KPN, T Mobile, Telnor, and Vodafone. WIB and S at the Red T Browser, Flow Cloud Web, Attackers Target Mass User. Just like the S Android T browser, Web Toolkit has also been designed to allow mobile carriers to provide some essential service subscription and valuable service over the air and the customer or chain score network settings on the device. So here, this is a browser, this S Red browser. We can just suffer it. When I just looking this S Red browser, that is. Scholarly article for same application toolkit. So basically, we can talk something more about this. At that time, a few experts in the telecom industry confirmed that the hackers news that the sim checkers related weakness never internally knows to many for years. And even research also revealed that an unnamed surveillance company has been exploiting the flaw in the world of spy on its target. Cybersecurity reaches at that active mobile securities have now released a new report revealing more detail about the same checkers attack and trying to address some important and unanswered questions like the number of affected operators in countries along with details on attacks spotted in the wild. Let's fill the list of the affected countries which is suffering from this such all sim checker and rebelty. Although the researchers did not name the effect mobile operator to prevent attackers from taking advantage of this close when rebelty, they did reveal the name of the country where the when rebel sims are still in use.
According to the report, in the list of including 29 affected countries across five continents with the customer of the total of the 61 mobile operators and actively using venerable SIMs with the SN Ready Browse Toolkit. If you talk about the North America, so there are the some areas Mexico, Guantanamo, Honduras, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Spain, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, Republic and Panama. In South America, we will talk the Peru, Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay. In Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Benin, Liberia, Costa, and Cameroon. In Europe, Italy, Bulgaria, and Greece. In Asia, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Palestine, and Lebanon. So the most variable conversative estimate is that there might be high under 100 of millions of SIM cards globally are affected in the research set. On the other hand, there are only eight mobile operators in seven countries who are actively using the venerable WIWIP toolkits on their SIM card. These countries are spread across Eastern Europe, Central America, Asia, and West Africa. WIP toolkit. That is the WIP toolkit. Same toolkit. So this is the same toolkit. Also a wireless internet browser. So, SIM jacker attacks in the wild. According to the research on an unnamed surveillance company active from the least 115 and most for targeting users for multiple countries over the S7 networks has been exploiting the SIM jacker when robot to gather intelligence on its target. It all started when the research dedicated unusually and suspicious SMS event in the last quarter of 2018 and when actively monitored, they record nearest to the 5000 same checker messages attempt to send the 1500 unique mobile device in the period of 30 days. So now I am just going to tell you the primary target where the Mexican mobile user well a small number of the attack will also be observed against the mobile phone subscriber for the Colombia and the Peru. With on a aim to be obtained the both location, information, and unique IMEI identifier. We believe that the peer on the discovery they would have the successfully targeted the location of many thousands of the mobile subscribers over the month of probably years of the research set. We also observe that the attack was experimental over the time and the new board potential forms of the attack using the vulnerability the number of scale of the sophisticated of the modification of the attacks are significantly beyond the border uh, what we are, have the witness from any attackers over the mobile network researcher observed over the 860 sim checkers attacks of variants in the actual SMS packet that we are the send from at least 70 attackers control mobile number Besides this, researchers also observed that the attackers were attempting to use a dedicated server attacks against some user in the case SIM jacker attack fail. How to prevent yourself from the SIM jacker attack is the very best thing. That let's look about this. Unfortunately, there is no simple way of for the mobile subscriber to know about the whether a venerable this SIM browser toolkit is beyond on this their SIM cards or not. Through their other apps available like the Snop Snitch, they are all the are downloading from the Google Play Store to detect the attack based on the suspicions by Android SMS. It's require your Android device to root it and even knowing that we won't help you much. What because as a potentially victim, there are very little on you can do to protect yourself. Expect to wait for their mobile operator to implement security measure or simply make it your phone number to the different safe network if it's available, which will be provide you with the same new card. Means while GSM Association, a trade body that represents the interest of the mobile operation worldwide, has provided some of the best way to prevent and block these attacks to the protect billions of the mobile phone users worldwide. In additionally, the SIM Alliances has also made us some of the updates to its SN3 browser specification to improve the security of the SIM toolkits and provide recommendation to the SIM and card manufacturer to implement security for this is the push. Now I am going to talk you the web tool which is created and mentioned by the Smart Trust, one of the leading companies that is same toolkit based browsing solution to more than 200 mobile operators worldwide. So just like the SNT browser, WI web toolkit has also been designed to allow mobile carrier to provide some essential service subscriptions and value added service over the air, their customer or change core network setting and the devices 
So, same checker vulnerability is a concerning because it can be executed against mass audience, against device manufactured by any vendor with just a dollar 10 GSM model and there are nothing much effect, affected user can. So instead of the prefix installation menu having a dynamic toolkit on the same allow mobile operator to generate new features and options on the fly based information provided by the central server. So the flow the follow of the both SNT and web browser can be exploited to perform several tasks on targeted device just by sending SMS containing a specific type of spyware like code, retrying targeted device location and EMI information, sending fake messages on behalf of victims, disputing malware by launching victims' phone browser and forcing it to open malicious web page, performing premium raid scam by dialoguing premium raid numbers, spying on victims surrounding by instruction the device called the tar attacker's phone number, performing denial of service attack by disabling the SIM card, retrieving another information like language, radio types, battery level, etc. As a particularly disk demonstrated in the video and illustrate in the um, industrial lactose like shared with the hacker news. So both checkers and web attacks, same checkers and web attacks can be summarized in the following steps. First step attackers send a malicious OTA SMS to the victim in phone number containing on SNT or web command. Web commands such as setup call, send message, or provide location info. Once received, the victim in mobile operating system forwards this command to the SNT or web browser installed on the SIM card without rising on alert of indicating the user about the incoming message. The target browser then instructs the victim in mobile other um, operating system to follow the command. The victim mobile OS then performs the corresponding actions. The telecom industry needs urgent countermeasure to prevent sim checkers, web attacker and other evolving tricks to protect billions of mobile phones users worldwide. Snoop Snitch This is the sim checker and web attacks are dedicated as a binary SMS. Means while the researcher also told the hackers news that he is working on a mobile phone apps to be early soon that would allow users to scan their SIM card to direct vulnerability to SIM checkers vulnerabilities or another. Developed by the research at the SLR Labs, there are another Android app called the Snoop Nest, which can detect attacks based on suspicious binary SMS, including SIM checker and alert user of it. You can download Snoop Snitch from the Google Play Store, but you need to have the rooted Android smartphone with a code column zip chat and SMS attack alert feature to work. We also reached out that adaptive mobile security firms comment in the back of them. So if you are familiar with the Snoop switch in your Android mobile phone, you want to just protect with such all things. So try to use the Snoop Switch, but first that you have to first root you out your Android phone. So the, the two things we are been clear here. So as on an alternative to a static sims toolkit application with a fixed pre-installed menus, some operators options dynamic sims where the menus user dialogs generator on the fly based on information provided by the central server sim application that provide the functionality are generally revealed to a sim browser of M browser. The wireless internet browser is specified by Smart Trust and it is the marketing leading solution of SIM toolkit space browsing the logo SIM web solution uses scripted short messages to the communities with a wireless internet gateway provided by the Trust Smart Trust. Together web and fins enable user to access the VML pages and the GSM phase 2 handset the web enables SIM has a menu stored on the same this means can be managed and updated over the air OTA service offer and refers to the remote file management. Logos continuously maintain the web implementation to the compilers with the latest specifications. The web browser is offered on several devices in the several configuration with different plugins. As a and D. On an alternative to the static SIM toolkit application with the fixed opera installed menus, some operators of the dynamic SIM toolkit where the menus and the user dialogs are generated on the fly based on the information. The wireless internet browser. The SAT specifications are open for therefore allowed to operate to choice of supplier for the port and PSD gateway and enable card. 
there are basically the products related of the state of the arts that is ls script web snt browser celtic java sim u sim valura valura gp valura scotta valura pk and evox flow so today we have covered many things about such all things here and uh, hope you will like this video just subscribe us like us thank you for watching us bye bye take care